Namaste and welcome to this special class. Today I'm here with my partner to guide you through a couple yoga session. Uh, we are going to stretch out together. Uh, we are going to flow through asanas uh, together with our partner. You can also use some of these poses during labor and delivery. And uh, then you are going to release and relax with the help of your partner through some uh, Thai yoga massage postures. So you would not need so many props, maybe if you have a pillow or a block will be useful for your class. Otherwise, grab your partner, grab your mat and I'll meet you there. We are going to start laying back to back into a cross leg sitting position. Moms can also use a block uh, for a couple of reasons, both to be at the same height with your partner and moms in their third trimester may find this posture much more comfortable as you can make more space for your belly and open a bit more your hips. Let's start with some introductory pranayama. Just lay against your partner, feel the back of your partner against yours and close your eyes. Keep your hands onto your knees and start centering. While you breathe, try to synchronize with your partner, your breathing. We inhale all together. And as you complete the inhalation, exhale at the same time. Feel the back of your partner against yours, slightly lifting as you inhale. And relaxing as you exhale. Both of you try to keep your spine out straight to relax as much as you can your shoulders and your neck. Breathe in through your nostrils, down to your chest and exhale again through your nostrils. Keep inhaling and exhaling. In this session, I want you to create a really deep connection with your partner. If he or she is your birth partner as well, it would be great to learn how to breathe together, how to help each other during labor, your partner will learn how you breathe, how your body behaves, which is your rhythm, and during labor and also delivery can have a much more bonding experience with you. He or she can assist you when you're feeling some pain and can help you to relieve some tension. Now that you're synchronized, we start lifting the arms up on the next inhalation. We both lift arms. And exhale, simply release your hands down. Three simple breaths like this. Inhale and lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. On the next inhalation, we both lift arms up 
moms stay with their hands up and the partners grab their wrists from the back inhale and exhale inhale once more and on the next exhalation the partner bends towards the front slightly lifting the mother chest arms shoulders really gentle a gentle back stretch and then on the next inhalation lift up again exhale one more time just a soft stretch and exhale release lift up inhale sorry exhale once more down and inhale lift and release exhale lower If moms feel comfortable, they can also do the same with their partner. We inhale both lift arms up. Especially if you are in your second trimester, you might be really able to do this movement. Grab your partner's wrists and do the same. Exhale, lower and extend the back of your partner. You don't need to go much further than I'm doing. You just take a small forward bend and lift up your partner wrists inhale release and exhale move forward last time lift up and exhale you can also do this routine with another pregnant mama and it's nice to be able to alternate and do the same movement to help each other for your session. We now inhale, lift just the right arm up for the mamas and left arm for the partner. You can interlace your hands and lean towards the left side. Extend your right side, breathe into your right ribs. release we change side left hand for the mama right hand for the partner inhale and release towards the right side not too much just a gentle release you can use your right hand on the ground for balance inhale lift we go one more time on the other side right hand for the mama grab your partner's hand and lift inhale release exhale and one last time on the other side your shoulders should already feel very well stretched we now go for a gentle twist we inhale both lift arms up and as you exhale both twist towards the left side back to back mamas try to twist just from your thoracic spine leave your uh, belly very soft and towards your legs and with a gentle twist reach your left knee with your right hand and your partner's knee on the back with your left we inhale center and exhale towards the other side twist to the right two times more inhale to the center and exhale twist left 
inhale center and exhale right last round inhale to the center exhale to the left inhale center and exhale right inhale center lift up and exhale release your hands down good we are ready to change position if you have any prop under your hips remove it and we come into kneeling posture all fours Head to head this time, we go for a few rounds of cat and cow. So take the right space between you so you can gaze towards each other. And we go for some rounds of Marjari Asana. As you inhale, you can look at your partner, give him or her a deep, deep gaze and as you exhale you can tuck your chin towards your chest draw your back towards the ceiling push away the floor look towards your knees and inhale roll your shoulders towards the back belly towards the floor lift up look at your partner exhale Keep moving with the flow of your breath as you inhale lift up as you exhale move down your head exhale last time and as you inhale, come up and relax, come back to a neutral position. Lift yourself up, we go into kneeling posture and rotate towards the long side of the mat so your partner and you are in the same position, side to side. All right, so the mama shifts towards the front so you have space to extend your left leg on the side and the partner does the same just shift towards the back so he has space for his right leg to extend it towards you we inhale and lift both arms up here and on the exhalation we move towards the external side of the mat both away from each other taking a nice side bend in a lift we go down two times more exhale slowly lower inhale lift if this is too much of a bend you can also use a block to lift yourself up and so next time you come down you are more lifted from the floor and your side your belly is less challenged and inhale lift exhale we come back to kneeling position and to the center we are now side to side left side against the right side we extend the opposite leg towards the outside yes and we lift the center arm 
towards the ceiling, grab your partner's hand. You can use it as a leverage as you lift the other arm up, inhaling. And as you exhale, moving towards the extended leg. Grab your partner's hand. Use it to lift yourself up. Give support to each other during these postures as you will probably do together during labor. And we inhale, lift, and we go down two more times. Exhale. Inhale, lift. And last time, exhale. Exhale, lower and relax. Come back into kneeling position. And we will go into standing posture. So lift yourself up. Face each other on the opposite side of the mat, maybe with a bit more distance. We are in Tadasana at the opposite top of the mat. We inhale, lifting arms up. And exhale, move both your right leg forward. You don't need to take a super big step. You can adjust your stand just after and land into a lunge. Grab your partner's hands. Push against each other. And as you exhale, move your hands down, bend your elbows and press against each other. Inhale, lift. Use your back foot to lift yourself up as you inhale. And as you exhale, draw all your body down pressing against your partner. Your partner is your support in all these poses. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Leave your partner's hands, rotate your back foot, both of you, and rotate towards the left side to open into a mirrored warrior two. Back foot straight, 90 degrees angle towards the long side of the mat. Yes. We inhale into Sound Warrior, both lean towards the back. Exhale, lower Warrior 2. And we both rotate again and lift into lunge. Great job. Take a step forward and come back into Tadasana. Exhale, release and go back to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift arms up. We go for the other side. Exhale, take a step with your left leg this time. Adjust your stand as you wish. And as you exhale, move your hands forward. Meet your partner's hands. Draw your back heel towards the ground and draw your arms. Inhale, lift everything up. Synchronize your breath. Look at each other so you understand which movement is coming from the other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And one last time we lift and rotate to open into warrior two. Spin your back foot, open on the side. Inhale, lean back into sound warrior. Mamas can also grab their belly instead of bringing the right arm behind the back. 
exhale lower warrior two and we rotate again towards lunge inhale lift spin your back foot again lift your heel and exhale release take a step and come back to tadasana great team job so we move again inhale lift arms up and exhale lower catch up with your breath so mama stay here on the top of the mat the partner take a step again into lunge with the right leg forward and we grab the partner's hands widen the legs especially in your third trimester you want to make space for your belly and take a squat a high squat your partner into lunge support your weight lift you up you can completely surrender to your partner as he moves back he draws your hands and give you support into this posture you can completely abandon your way to your partner and slowly we move towards malasana into yogic squat so we sit down your partner keep keeps lifting yourself up into the lunge and you can completely release your hips your back Take a nice deep squat. You will be glad you exercise this posture during labor. Your partner can help you in that moment to release some pressure from your hips, some pressure from contractions. And slowly as you inhale, your partner draws you up, lift with your legs bent and release. Still into the lunge, your partner can take a small back bend so he can lift your arms, extend your arms. This is a super nice stretch for your back and for your legs. And exhale, release, slightly bend your knees to come up. Your partner can go back into Tadasana on the back of the mat. And we move to the other side. Your partner take, uh, takes a step with the left leg now. And again, we move towards the squat. Inhale here and exhale into the squat. Left leg bent for your partner. Mamas lead this movement. So you give your partner the signal you want to move, you want to go down, and how much strength you need to be supported. We exhale and move towards Malasana. Your partner keeps you lifted. You can always take a block and put it under your sitting bones if this is too much of a squat for you, if this is too much pressure for your hips. And we slightly release, lift up your partners, take a small back bend and helps the mama to extend the back and the legs. Super nice deep stretch for all our sore muscles. And in a release, slightly bend your knees, lift yourself up. You can both come back to Dadasana and we all take a big inhalation and as you exhale, join your hands, bring them in front of your heart, close your eyes for a moment. Relax and release any tension, calm your heartbeat. And exhale, lower your arms. 
Great, we move again to the warrior sequence. This time we do some partner work here. So mamas can come uh, towards the long side of the mat on the front and the partners can come just right on the back of the mamas. We are going to perform the same asana at the same time on the same direction so your partner can support you from the back. We inhale and both lift arms up. And as you exhale, move your legs outward for a wide-legged Uttanasana. Inhale again here. Exhale, point your left toe towards the short side of the mat and the right toe is right toes are pointing towards the long side of the mat. We are into warrior two with our legs. Bend the front leg, your left and stay here you can stay closer to your partner and eventually grab his hands try to synchronize your breath the partner should support the mama the mama should feel supported and feel the presence of her partner we inhale and move into Sun Warrior, both towards the back. You and your partner can hug your belly from below. Exhale, release into Warrior 2 again. You don't need to take a super big stand or be very challenged. This uh, is a moment to share with your partner these movements and uh, what your body can do and not to challenge your body for a super hard posture. We inhale and slightly lean towards the back. Hug, partners hug your mamas from the back. And exhale into warrior two. We move forward into Parsvakonasana side angle. So your uh, left elbow comes to your left thigh and we lift the right arm up the right hands can stay close together and if your partner wishes he can also hug your belly if he can stand with us support from the back always search for this connection is so beautiful too to share your body space in this moment with your partner. Inhale, lift up. This was already quite tough. We go into triangle, so extend the front leg, both legs extended. We lean forward, search for your partner's support and windmill your arms, right arms towards the ceiling and left towards the floor. For the mamas, partner just stay there. You can also use a block under your left hand to search for some support. And we inhale and lift arm up. Reverse triangle, so we shift towards the back and windmill the arms towards the opposite side. Inhale, lift. One last time, we move to warrior two, so bend your front leg. Keep your arms parallel to the floor, strong, hold them and move them far away from each other. Sun warrior, inhale, lean towards the back, hug your baby, hug your belly. And inhale, lift. So spin both your feet towards the long side of the mat, come back into wide-legged Tadasana, and we move to the other side. We extend the arms. You 
you can grab the arms of your partner pivot your front foot the right one this time towards the short side of the mat and keep the left pointing towards the long side of the mat we move to warrior two first so we bend the front leg and lean forward your right knee is right over the ankle inhale and exhale and we move to some warrior lean towards the back hurry your partner's belly and exhale warrior two once more synchronize with your partner and lean towards the back We are going to move into Parsvakonasana, so move forward, keep rotating your arms, reach your right leg with your right arm, and if your partner is able to keep himself or herself stable, he can hug you from the back. We extend the right leg into triangle, both of us, and extend the arms up. Again, if you wish, you can reach for your block. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Feel your partner's breath and try to breathe together in and out and we're going to move into reverse the triangle so grab your hands once more lean towards the back both legs extended and we move to warrior two again bend your right leg to the front warrior one last time mamas should lead their partner so they guide the movement and decide how deep and how fast their movement should be exhale warrior two and we pivot both feet towards the front come back into tadasana and shift again to the top of the mat we extend the arms take a deep breath all together and exhale release so we have been moving a lot now and mamas deserve a moment for relaxation so we are going to move into balasana if you have a pillow this is ideal to give you a bit of support so mamas can lean onto their knees maybe take a wide-legged balasana if you are on the later stage of your pregnancy and even a higher pillow if you need space for your belly and we are going to lean in balasana uh, while our partners moves uh, above um, above you, above your shoulders and give you a nice massage on the back starting from the upper part of your glutes coming along the spine and with circular movement making a bit of pressure on your back uh, to release the, the tension that you might have because of the increase of weight of your body. Uh, of course, uh, mamas should um, give their partners hints on how much pressure they want. So uh, you give them instructions on uh, how, where, and how much 
to, to press on your back. So we come onto the pillow or the bolster. You can have your hips lifted as if you were in puppy pose or if you are in an uh, earlier stage of your pregnancy you can maybe move your belly a bit deeper down. For me at this stage the best is to be with the hips a little lifted. Your partner can come above you and give you a little massage pressing with the palms of, your, of the hands onto the upper part of the glute and slowly moving along the spine with a gentle pressure from the fingers from the thumbs and what feels great for me might not feel so good for you so just give instructions to your partner on where to go he will be glad to give you a bit of release from the shoulders towards the lower back some gentle movements with the palm, palming along the spine should be very well appreciated, especially at a later stage of the pregnancy where your back is carrying your belly weight and maybe your posture is also a bit affected. It's also nice if your partner grab one shoulder and the opposite side of the lower back and press and extend your back. Feels very relieving. And of course you can learn this massage and use it at any moment during your pregnancy and especially during labor if you need some support from your partner to relieve some back pain. slowly move back engage again your arms and lift yourself up into balance and after this nice massage we are ready for the final stretch again we move to the mat both partners sitting so we extend both legs and meet the partner's feet We will go for some assisted stretches. So grab your partner's hands from the center and you're going to uh, use actually your partner to make uh, your legs stretched out. So grab firmly your partner hands and use them to leverage. Your partner can lean towards the back helping you to draw towards the floor in a lift and you can also help your partner stretch out moving to the back using your partner to keep you balanced and at the same time helping him or her to stretch his legs out and one more time Exhale, move forward. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, lift and exhale, mama smooth towards the back. Inhale, lift one last round. Exhale forward. Inhale, lift and exhale to the back. And inhale, release. We move into Janushirshasana. Both partners uh, bend the right leg. So the right heel is towards the pubis and we move the knee towards the opposite foot of the partner. Inhaling, we lift the arms up and exhaling, we gently twist towards the bent leg, towards the right side for me. Just a gentle twist for the mamas. Remember to always leave your belly soft and to twist from your thoracic area. Inhale, lift to the center. As we exhale, we reach the extended leg and take a nice side bend. You don't need to go so deep. You can also grab your shin or your uh, thigh. It's really not important where you can reach, but the feeling that you get in your right side, the extension of your muscles, opening of your ribs. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. We change sides, so we now extend the right leg against the left knee of the partner and bend the left leg. We inhale, lift arms up. Exhale, gently twist towards the left side this time. Inhale to the center and we go for the side bend towards the right side. So open your chest towards the left side, reach whatever you can and like the shin, the foot and lift your left arm up. If you want, you can also reach your partner's hand and search for contact. Exhale, release to the center. We now bend both legs. Again, for mamas, if you're comfortable, you can bring a, a folded blanket or a block under your hips. This feels very good for me in this phase of my pregnancy. You can be knee to knee, really close to each other. And we are going to take a gentle twist. So partners, be gentle with your mamas. Do not uh, give them too much strain. We inhale, lifting arms up. And exhale, both rotate towards the right side. We bend the right hand on the back and reach for the partner's hand. In this nice knot. Release and we inhale towards the center. We exhale towards the other side. This time we bend the left arm on the back. Reach for your partner's hand. If you cannot reach your partner's hand, that's really not important. Just place a hand onto his or her uh, shoulder and that will be also nice. So do not exacerbate your twist, especially mamas. But also partners, if you're not used to yoga, 
it might be difficult to get into a deep twist, so just take the lower option. We inhale to the center. Let's go for the low option once. Exhale, twist to the right side. We just grab one hand on the back and move the other on the shoulder of your partner. This is also good. Your partner can have his hand on the ground or just on the back as you wish. This is a lighter version of the twist. Especially if you are into your third trimester, it's starting getting difficult to, to twist deeply. Inhale and exhale, twist towards the left side again. We can just simply reach the partner's shoulder. As you exhale, search for your partner's hands, come down to the level of your heart with your hands, press your hands against each other and you can also bow forward and reach your partner's head. Close your eyes, stay here for a moment. Catch up with your breath, try to stay synchronized as you inhale together and you exhale together as well. Think for a moment to your baby, to your pregnancy, to this journey, if you are sharing it together to the future journey that you will be probably sharing together. And you can make an intention in your mind on how you would like to support your partner. in her journey towards motherhood or in his journey towards, towards fatherhood. And keep this intention in mind for your yoga practice and for your life as a parent. We slowly release the hands on the knees. Keep your eyes closed for a few moments more. slowly open your eyes come back to the room look again at your partner maybe smile to each other and with a big exhale release so we are finally at the funny moment for the mamas as you're gonna receive a nice massage from your partner so you can remove or keep the block under your sitting bones I'm gonna turn towards the camera and your partner can stay behind you into kneeling position. It might be more comfortable for him or for her also to use a pillow to lean with his knees. You can stay on the mat or on a blanket or a bolster uh, on the block actually. Maybe it's much more comfortable if you use a blanket 
for yourself. So make yourself comfortable into a sitting position. If you don't like the crossed legs, it can be also with the extended leg, just as you like. You should be comfortable and relaxed. And your partner will help you with some uh, shoulder massage. I learned this into my um, prenatal uh, yoga course and I found it really nice, really relieving for the tension during the long days of pregnancy. So I hope this might also um, help you to get relaxed at any point of the day when you need this massage, just ask for it. So we are going to lift the arms up and grab the opposite elbows. Your partner from the back is gonna fork his arms in. And he's gonna exercise a gentle lift and squatting and sitting back is gonna drive you into a nice back bend. As you inhale, you can lift and stretch you out. And as you exhale, you both release. One more time, inhale. You can say to your partner when is enough or if you need a deeper stretch. Exhale. Let's do it once more. Inhale and lift the mama arms. And exhale, both relax and release. Good, so your partner can stay um, in standing posture behind you and you're going to relax your head uh, leaning uh, leaning forward and your partner can give you a little massage on the uh, upper shoulders by just exercising a bit of pressure just palming alternatively from left to right and moving the hands uh, from the neck towards the external side of the shoulders. Use your palms and your fingers to exercise a really gentle pressure. Again here, moms should guide their partners on the pressure level, on the position. We experience a lot of changes of posture during pregnancy, so every muscle of our back of the neck of the shoulders is affected as they have to compensate for these postural changes so it's very nice to have during your pregnancy period from time to time this gentle massage to relieve your muscles can have on one side and then the other or on both sides together if your partner is standing it's much better because he or she can exercise the right amount of pressure just using their uh, body weight
And you can both raise. Great. So we move to the next uh, stretching and massage. So your partner can come onto one knee. Let's go for the right knee for the moment and keep the left leg extended near to your body. You will use this leg as a leverage with your armpit. So this can be a little extended according to the level of stretching that you want to reach. So mamas can leave their arms up and interlace their fingers behind the head. The partner grabs the right elbow from below and with the left arm actually and uses the right hand to push on the right um, thigh of the mother in order to exercise a deep stretch onto the right side. We use the leg of the partner as a leverage. You may want to have it a little higher. Under the left armpit. And this is quite different from when you do a side bend on yourself in your yoga practice, as when you do the passive stretching or the assisted stretching with a partner, your muscles are able to relax much more because they do not receive any input to move. Also here you can say to your partner if you want the leg higher or lower and we can change side. Also the partner changes the leg side. Try to keep your shoulders, your arms and your upper body aligned on the same ideal plane as you move into the side bend. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Enjoy the deep stretch. Running from your elbow towards the hip. You can also guide the pressure on the leg if you want much more stretch on the on your leg, on the mom leg. Good, and we come to the last massage. Your partner can be on their knee, on their knees, and they will use their forearm to uh, massage your shoulders with some uh, rotational movements. They will use the soft part of their forearms to give you this nice massage from the neck again towards the shoulder. You can start from the right side. Moms keep their head slightly tilted towards the opposite side and with these rotational movements the partner can exercise a very soft but relieving pressure on the muscles of the neck and of the upper shoulder. Go from the inside towards the outside, from the neck towards the shoulder. And moms try to stay as relaxed as possible, remove any tension from the muscles of the neck so you don't feel any friction with the forearm of your partner. Soften your body. And we move to the other side. So we lean towards the right side. And your partner can do the same with the opposite arm.
and both ways. We thank you all for being here with us and we hope you enjoyed this class. I also hope your partner did a good job in supporting you and uh, you can train uh, yourself with different partners or with the partner that will be with you during labor to understand how to move together, how to support each other in that delicate moment. We thank you for letting us guide you through this class and we wish you a beautiful journey together towards labor and towards parenthood. Namaste.